What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we've got the England versus India first test day five review by the one and only the great cricketer, the greatest cricket podcast in the world. Now, obviously, I've done my own review of every day of the test match. If you want to go and check out my own reviews of just me, go and check those out. Um, if you're interested, if you are new to the channel, of course, subscribe. Um, and also, um, apologies about the shocking lighting on my face. I mean, it's probably good because you don't have to look at my, my ugly facing, like high definition lighting. But I normally have this big um, this big roller door in front of me that's up and it brings in all the lighting. But there's a house getting built near me, um, and all you can hear is just a like just some loud bullshit. So, I wouldn't, you know, if I have that up, that's all you'll hear, and it'll be annoying as fuck. So, excuse the lighting, uh, but hey, let's check it out. Well, England, you've done it again. Yeah. You've done it again. Well, yeah, oh, apologies. I just, I wanted to um, watch this video last night when it came out, but then I was like, you know what, we'll react to it. And four <laughs> days of wonderful sporting. Siraj's anger management consultant. Sign me up for that job. In contests. You know what, five days of that? Wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> Welcome back to The Grey Cricketer, brought to you by ACCO, India's leading digital insurance company. Uh, my name's Ian Higgins, Sam Perry is he, Pezzy Lad, good morning to you. Wonderful sport we follow. Jeez. Wonderful sport. Oh, wait, Pezzy's allowed into the studio. Hey. The pastime. Thanks, the Obama, studio. and thanks, England. Obama? Ah. Uh, For the drones? <laughs> well, hmm. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I understand Stadium incrementalism with roof as, a, as an approach. <laughs> okay. Nevertheless. Sure. Um, okay. So day five, not a ball bold. Um, but uh, what I really want is to is to, is for you to give me the day in grey terms. Yeah, I'll give you the I'll give you the entire match in grey terms. Oh, really. please. Uh, and I think both teams could have said this. You know, Pff, yeah, we definitely would have won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely would have won. Why does every great explainer be? Pff, yeah. Pff, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it's a connection to horses. Oh, I uh, see, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> we have run out of carrots. Going to bring three things to you here, here goes. Uh, the first one, did England get away with one here? Mm. Now, yes. Now, there's zero chance Joe Root is going to admit this publicly, but uh, they'll be on that bus down to Lords, mm -hmm. cock mm -mm. a hoop. Yeah. <laughs> with the serious remaining level after yeah. this, surely. Yep. Uh, probably yes. Probably yes. Run chases are hard in England. Mm. Um, especially like when momentum plays such a huge factor, but like I mean, I think day five would have come down to the first hour and a half, yeah. really. And I think I think there's a there's a decent case to be made that in, uh, India could have easily uh, as easily been ninety for four as one hundred and thirty for two. Yeah. In which case, you know, game's well, over. England, England, I'm more to say England could have won. Mm. Probably wouldn't have done. The conditions seemed to get better for batting as the day went on, but felt like India were going to cruise. Felt like it, and maybe over just over the course of the test match as well. Always felt like India was playing the better cricket, the more mm -hmm. balanced side, mm -hmm. uh, the bigger threats by and large, and England essentially carried by one or two big horses. Uh, you know, like yeah, sure, Root would have said, "Oh no, no, Bro Brody had a big spell on him, definitely." You know, <laughs> really, the, the steam was coming out of the ears this yeah. morning. You were, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like an honest press conference. Oh, being yeah. like, being like, well, actually, woke up in the morning and um, yeah, saw a bit of rain. We thought, you beauty, because um, <laughs> yeah, Broad struggled this game actually, That's and right. um, I'm uh, he's, stiff. he'd be lucky to get a game next Test match. Um, yeah, it was in the in the, in the corridors this morning, mm. uh, and the wheat picks just weren't going down well. You know the like the subplot of like how to manage a day of rain when it comes to like captains talking to umpires and stuff like that. Like you know mm. when Joe Root went out to talk to Illingworth and and Keller Brewer and Michael Goff. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know I, I don't think when when Goffy said to him like look Joe mate we're thinking of calling it. Joe said no, no please oh, no, oh. no the boys are really ready. To, mate, the, the boys are really ready to go. You look in there they're all in their pajamas. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like oh, what we're going, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. we're 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 keen, we're fired. Stuart up. Brown's got his head, Stuart mm. Brown's got his headband on, but it's yeah. only his headband. That's all he's got on. Yes, hey. he's not ready to play. That's right. Oh, right. Well, not cricket. No, no, no. Well, his dad was the match referee. Yeah, I don't. I just don't yeah. feel like England had their kid on, ready to get out there and to rip into Coley Mate, and Co. I remember, Co. I remember playing in a semi final once, and uh, it, we needed to win, but the other team finished high above us in the table, so they just mm. needed the draw to get through the final. Yeah, so they were keen. That, that, yeah, exactly. Went out there and it was like, ah, oh, run up's a bit wet and slow. Yeah. Like, 
wet run ups. I mean, have you ever seen a bowler fucking break a leg because he's running in a straight line? His favorite left right combination <laughs> running up to the crease. You never, you never, never. see that happen. Mm. You never see it happen. But then, as soon as the umpires were like, "Oh, it's a bit wet," he's like, mm. "Yeah." I, the other captain was like, "Yeah, I actually can see that." Yeah. Bit. And I'm like, "Ah, oh, it's a bit wet." What is this sport? What is it? It's a great mm. sport. I can play for a week. Saw no like, result. I saw Joe Root walking out there to talk to the umpires. Yeah, I fucking had that before playing cricket in. I can't remember when it was, but you go out onto the pitch. It was like a synthetic pitch as well. So the run-up is just pure grass. It's just nothing but like this short little fucking grass. The run-up is pretty much dirt. And then like there's like one raindrop hits the umpire's head. And they're like, nah, calling it. Everyone off. So mate, mate, I'm, I was 16 at the time. I wasn't going to break a fucking leg. It'll heal. On the day, and just, Pissed he, me he just off. Had, the way he just had his hands in his pockets and he was sort of grimacing, <laughs> yeah. you know, light rain stroking his cheeks. <laughs> yeah, and you know, like yeah. he's just walking along, just like touching, like just scraping the grass. And he's like, yeah. not really looking that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just bring a bit of moisture up from the surface. And yeah, mm. you always like point to the direction. Someone someone in the team needs to tell you where the weather usually comes from at the ground. Yeah, yeah. indeed, yeah. Uh, and you sort of look in that direction. Yeah, it always comes from over those trees over there, yeah. does it? Yeah. Coley talking to the the uh, the umpires. He was actually fully kitted up in his white tan helmet, and gloves, and bat <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. I'll play now. Yeah. Anyway, I think England got away with one there. over the course of the yeah, test match. Generally, so. oh you'd yeah, might have done some damage. Uh, the second one, he goes. So, so I just want you to reflect on like what stood out mm -hmm. at Nottingham. Like you know, what did we learn mm -hmm. about these two teams? All right. Now look again. People are here for them, but I'm still going to voice my opinion. We learnt that Boomer should never be fucking doubted again. Um, we learned that Joe Root's still a good batsman, obviously. Um, and we learned that England should never host a test match again. Teams, mm. uh, particularly as it relates to the rest of the series. What, what did you like about it? Mm. What do we need to look at? Um, stadium, uh, stadiums with roofs on them. Yep. Um, Especially in England. <laughs> and uh, playing past six o'clock when there's sunlight for another three hours in England. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, no, nah, I can't play there. Yeah. Couldn't possibly Day play. Day night it. test. <laughs> Taking early lunch breaks. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that kind of gear. Yeah. Uh, cricket, hell of a sport. Um, uh, for me, Joe Root's batting now with this hundred. Even gutsy. though they boo him every time he yeah, hits yeah, hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and let us know what you think about that yeah. as well. Um, so weird. Uh, what did he do? So what's, he, what, what's he done? What's him? he done? Mm. Yeah, that's really strange. Mm. <laughs> Just trying <laughs> people now. Um, his batting, I think, is now in career best form. Mm. Back to when before he was captain, when he used a GM back in the day. Um, it's somewhere near that for Joe Root. 60 in the first dig as well. Overshadowed and, by 100. And he, and he looks good. Yeah. I said yeah. in one of the days this week that I thought, like, the problem with Burns and Sibley and Crawley they as well, suck. not enough pressure put back on the bowlers. Joe Root looks busy at the crease. He oh, yeah. fucking dominates the offside. He's leaving balls well. You look up, he's 30. Yeah, exactly. Exa years that, old. That kind of gear. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the years go, Joe? <laughs> He still looks so young. What's his skincare routine? Mm, he is yeah, true, for actually. real. Alan um, generous. There's I mean, genuinely seriously. five English batters who should be playing for their spot, but are not. Mm. In that there's Burns, maybe. Uh, Burns is more of a lock than others. But no, fuck that. I've said it a hundred times in my reviews. Burns, Sibley, um, Lawrence. Who's that other dickhead at the top of the order? Burns, Sibley, Lawrence... Crawley. No, nah, I would like that, none of those four are playing for Australia's best eleven. And then there's Sibley, no. Crawley, um, Lawrence, Besto, who are all should be playing for their spot, but there's literally no one else who's yeah, coming in. I know there's other batters in this squad. Bolly yeah. Pope is to come in, for instance, but like there's no pressure being put on. Joe Root is carrying this team massively. Yes. And, and I just quickly, Moeen Ali is playing for the fucking the 100 league in. Well, I think that is in England, so he's not really that far away. But get Moeen Ali in your team. I mean, seriously. Has done for realistically probably a couple of years. I liked Anderson v. Coley. Yeah, I think good. I can look forward to that for the rest that of the series. Ball. Anderson nicks off Coley. First ball. Coley yeah, will have something yeah. to say about that down the yeah. track. But that's yeah. a good matchup. Yeah. That's very, very it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, I thought Ollie Robinson in his second he test good. showed that he is the real deal. Yep. Yep. Uh, I really liked, in um, I guess in contrast to Anderson v. Coley, Boomer v. Root. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, you know, who know, obviously who knows what would have happened overnight or whatever. I think India would have got the job done, but... Even just Boomer nicking off Root, it was on 109, so Root mm. had his say and mm. did really well, but mm. Boomer still got him out at the right time Yeah, yeah. Um, with that new pill there. I mean, I really like that, and we can look forward to that rest of the series. Uh, Root entrenching himself as a big boy. Mm. And then also, yeah, uh, you know, as we mentioned yesterday, and there wasn't many comments about it, but a bit, a bit of banter between the boys as well. A bit of banter. <laughs> Hopefully that bit sets, of a, that sets a nice tone yeah, for the yeah, rest yeah. of the series. Yeah. Now, when the Indians do something, we will pick that up. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> I think we made it very clear, didn't we, that like Ollie Robinson can carry on like a coat. Yeah. <laughs> And then so can Mo Siraj. It's oh, got yeah. nothing to do with where they're from. Oh, in yeah. fact, every team has coats. Yeah. yeah. Um, not yeah. least Australia. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, well, yeah. king coats, really. <laughs> they are they, they actually wrote the book. There's yes. a book called How to Be a Coat. Yes, they're king coats. King coat makers, yeah. I also had, yeah, Siraj has got a bit going on. Needs to call his jets. That was one of the other things that he I needs to take, take a deep breath. Uh, the third one, he goes, changes for Lords. I know you're just talking about it there. So, yeah. um, I think Rory Burns will probably be safe in the top three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Zach Crawley or Dom Sibley? Does one of go. them miss out? You have Haseeb Hamid waiting in the wings. Yep. He is averaging 45 in county cricket. He scored. Who the fuck is Haseeb Naim? Like, for real, I looked at the squad. I did my squad preview, what, a few weeks ago? And I, who the fuck is Haseeb Naim? Like, 100 against India leading into the series. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I would like to say oh, that you, you can't tell mm-hmm. me that, County mm-hmm. that game. bringing in Hamid and even Dawood Milan mm-hmm. yeah. would not give them a better top three than they're, what they're exactly. currently uh, mm-hmm. offering. Mm-hmm. Bring in Milan. Crawley is the easiest to drop mm-hmm. because he's young, he'll be back, nah. and maybe it's strategically sound to drop him now so that when Sibley ends up getting dropped at the end of the they series, you can bring Crawley in for the Ashes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> does Sibley's 28 off 130 save him? <laughs> so England picked a this uh, squad for the first two tests. So Milan's not in that squad. Mullin mm. Ali's not in that squad. Yeah, the only spare batsman that can come in is no Pope and Hamid. So two. Mm. Pope and Hamid. I, if Pope's fit, I think he'll come in for Lawrence. Yep. Yeah. I think they'll keep Bairstow. Hamid's an interesting one where... Just throw him in. Yeah, why not? And I suppose why not in the why sense not? of like, well, do you want do you want to to blood a young guy against Boomer at et al. in a test series? But maybe that's just kind of the point. Like it's where if you start. It's where you start. It's either that or he, he surely can't be going any worse than Sibley or Crawley. <laughs> Who for? Sibley. Um, maybe Sibley. I bring I him think. in for Sibley. And then maybe Crawley opens. No, that's not right. Nah. He may, he may a lot of uh, D- David uh, Bumble says that mm. uh, Crawley's an opener, he Is believes. He? Oh, yeah, he, so. yeah, he can be. He can be. Because mm. Root will stay four. Root, that's where he wants to bat. Mm. Fair yeah. enough. So, yeah, would you drop Sibley or Crawley? So there's a lot of stats so, coming out of the moment. got his 100 open the batting as well. Right. So... Yeah. So Crawley, uh, and Sibley. you see all these stats now that like Joe Root scored, you know, a trillion runs, and nobody like the next right. best is Dan Lawrence with three hundred runs at like <laughs> right. twenty or That's something. Yeah, like that. twenty seven. I looked at and, this and Crawley is now like averaging eleven, and now you're getting a bit of Root maths going on with this, where it's <sighs> like, yeah, well, without his two hundred and sixty seven, he's actually averaging eighteen, but he's averaging twenty eight with his. It's like, well, yeah, what's he averaging Just if you take all the ducks out as well? Yeah. Much, you know, like mm. he averages what he averages. Sean Marsh is Bradman. Exactly. You can do anything uh, with these stats. But, uh, I mean, Crawley has a bigger future than Dom Sibley yeah. in Test cricket. But I can also see what, like, mm. every good player mm. gets dropped when they're young. Yeah. Is yeah. it Crawley's time to get dropped? Mm. See off Boomer. Zach, have a, have a bit of time mm. away. Come back for mm. the Ashes. We'll have you then. Mm. You don't have to, you know, develop more scars. Mm. Bro, I, think I want- cannot wait for the Ashes. If they come down under with Crawley, Dom Sibley, fucking Lawrence... And Rory Burns in their top order. I have said this for the last two years. This is the worst top order England have ever fucking had. Other than Joe Root, like they are stuffed. And if they bring this top order to Australia, we're going to win 5 0. Want Crawley Seriously. for the Ashes because he pl- he's got experience in those wickets, tall runs. He'll be sorted out for that. I don't think they'll drop Crawley in this test match. Nah. I think he's got no okay, game Sibley, in him. So yeah. you, you reckon they'll. I don't think they'll drop Sibley either. He I mean, got 20. Cool. <laughs> it's 20. Yeah. So how it's funny, isn't it? It's like Fuck, it's all just great cricket. How got twenty? How can you look at this top three and and decide <laughs> if I scored twenty in grade cricket, I am not going anywhere. At the end of this test, shit. You know what? I'm gonna stick with them. I'm gonna stick with them because they what? didn't lose the game. They and they could have won the game. Mm. They they didn't, and they probably wouldn't have. But they, I, I could see uh, Joe Root um, practically saying, "Listen, Dom Sibley's." Anchoring of an end while I scored a hundred was important, mm. so mm. he keeps his spot, yeah. mm. and I'm going to give Zach another go. I could see him doing that, but I could also similarly see them bring in Haseeb Hamid because he could be what they need. Yeah, yeah. could be. Uh, he goes and, and for India. Yeah, uh, India. I can't think of many change. I don't think Ashton. Well, it depends what the pitch is. Going Lords to. hot and dry, yeah. so the weather's meant to be pretty good. Yeah, can get dry then. Can spin. Do you go three and two? And if you go three and two, probably, who's out? Probably Takua. Takua. He took four wickets. He got root out in the first mm. innings, and he bats eight. And they you can't. Yeah, but Ashwin's got Ashwin's run as well. Yeah, 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 he got to stage yeah. seven. I'm not sure. Yeah, not not Siraj. 
No. Nah. No, nah, I think, I think, I think it's Siraj. Bringing too much energy. Too much energy. Yeah. Too much energy. Try and set up. Uh, coach needs runs. Yep. Or does There's it? also a couple of whispers around Pajara and Cole this and um, say, Rahane. A lot of commenters are pointing out, uh, a lot of our like audience pointing out like a certain unspoken instability in the axis of Pajara, Coley, Rahane. Mm. So these are three kind of untouchable names they in a lot of ways. All of them. Yeah, but, I think Rahane doesn't, but yeah. But for the last little while, haven't really delivered for India. Mm. Uh, is this a sleeping problem for India? Do they need a pill? <laughs> Who would come in? Yeah. Exactly. What, so, really? Uh, Are you so, going to touch these guys? So if Agarwal comes in, they put Kyle Rahul down at five, for instance. Does that... But then but Kyle Rahul... Rahul played so well opening. I mean, do you, It's... I feel like they don't need to go in with a change. I feel like you back Pajara, especially if the pitch is going to be dry. Um, they so might I mean, have well open the batting. Agarwal right? open, Kyle Rahul at three. Oh, what? Coley down at... Four. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Four. Coley's four. So Pajara would leave. <laughs> Nah. Yeah, mate. You're doing that? Fuck a big call to drop a guy averages fifty. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm I not mean, sure I'm not sure what his record, not, record's like in England though. Like, I don't know. I think when Pajara came to Australia and we're like, mate, this, like we knew he could bat, it was like, man, this bloke doesn't score a run and yet yeah. somehow he gets it done. It's yeah. just that it, like a lot of commenters who watch probably more Indian cricket than us are sort of sa- just starting to it's suggest that there might be so- is there an issue here with these yeah. with, with, with mm. that access mm. at the moment? Can uh, not England price that open? I don't think you're dropping anybody at the moment. Yeah, but no. a little bit of a watch this space. I think it? it's just to the point where like <laughs> Who, do, who wants a game a bit? I don't think it really matters. Mm. Well, it matters to a bit, but like, I don't know, England, uh, India is strong. That'll be fine. So Pope might come back in. Do you bring in Jack Leach as well? No, um, I don't think so. So right. you're st- sticking with the same as... Uh, Jack Leach sucks. Uh, uh, well, they... That's yeah. just my high school principal. I mean, look at this man. They can't bring in Moe. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know they can't, but I mean, I'm really surprised they did not bring Moe and Ali into this squad yeah, as soon what as the fuck? Stokes was out mm. and Stokes was out. Um, Crazy. Because he's, he's a spinning all-rounder. And where's but Chris Sam, they played Sam Curran, who actually batted well. He didn't bowl that well, but he, he batted well. Batted well. All right, I reckon it's advantage India at the moment. He goes, and then on to Ask TGC. All thanks to Echo. Rooney Tawa writes in, hashtag Ask TGC. Boys, would it be 4D chess from England if they go on to lose the Ashes, which they obviously will, mm-hmm. thereby lulling Australia into a false sense of security about the state of Australian cricket and making sure CA don't actually change or fix anything? <laughs> Could they lose the battle to win the war? Or are they just wank? Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a big question. It's really helps that Australia have not been playing cricket at all this year because yeah. we're getting stronger and stronger the more that England play, especially. Mm. Um, yeah. I know there's a, there was apparently a series on in Bangladesh. I didn't catch mm. it. Oh, we won. We, we won the last game. Ah, poor, mm. problem solved. Christo. Um, what's the? Wow. Today, as I'm recording this, we actually just got bowled out for 62 against Bangladesh. Lost the series 4-1. My review's out for that by the time you're watching this. So, yeah. That's, That's the sucks. question. Are we wank? Uh, like, would it be like, are England going to deliberately lose oh, to Australia? So- what happened? It's buffering. Don't make me edit this video. That's the question. Are, are we wank? Uh, like, would it be like, are England going to deliberately lose oh, to Australia? So- oh, no. Oh, no. All right. We just had a little technical difficulties. Um, the internet decided to leave for a few minutes. So. If you've seen the little, the little cheeky little edit, that's from me. What's the question? Are, are we wank? Uh, like, would it be like, are England going to deliberately lose oh, to Australia lose so Australia. that we don't change oh, anything? So we, like, okay. Yeah, that seems yeah, to be the I thing going so. at the moment. Yeah. I think Australia, like the, the only issue with this is that I think Australia is already lulled into a false sense yeah. of security. In Australian cricket, we've already won these ashes. Mm. And now that's not dangerous in any way. <laughs> All we're doing is laughing at Dom Sibley saying, we're going to win, nothing mm. else matters. Mm. Hmm. That usually goes well. Finally, he goes, uh, Shraddha Mishra writes in, you said... You want England to realise how good India are. Yeah. but And you said that. I did say that. But do you just want them to feel the same level of pain and humiliation you guys <laughs> felt post-Gabba? <laughs> Hashtag I showed you, see? I didn't feel any humiliation. Why bring that it's up? Like, it's funny when Australia loses. No, it's not. Really? And it's good for business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's funny. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was fucking in hysterics. I, no, think it's I a don't want thing. them to... Yeah, it's a different relationship. I think it's a different thing. I don't... Because firstly, like, what people need to understand, and I say this with respect, though what I'm about to say is mm. evidently disrespectful, yeah. England and English people are much more seasoned losers. You yeah. know, they I don't think they would feel pain and humiliation upon yeah. in- India beating them. They'll be more like, hmm, eh, it can happen. One thing you've got to respect out of England, yes, and it's just one thing, mm. is a 66 World Cup. 
Okay, <laughs> it's Germany. No, is um, is they the two world wars before that? <laughs> what happened? Sixty six World Cup. Is, I was fucking not even alive. Neither. Wait. I mean, these guys are about mid twenties, right? That uh, they celebrate the wins. Now, I I sent to you a message the other day on WhatsApp about uh, uh, some magazine had posted a video of like um, it was it was. 16 years to the day since Flintoff bowled a good over. Mm. <laughs> it's like yeah. best over ever. Yep. It's like, I oh, fucking know. Put a good six balls together, didn't he? Mm. <laughs> I averaged like 32 with the ball. How? How is that possible? Statistically, yeah. he was not a very good player. Fucking amazing against Australia, though. Anyway, I'm just saying, celebrate the wins where you can get them. So Bowl a good over. Hey, that's the best over I've ever seen, ever, in the history of cricket. Ah, Flintoff. Hey, you should have seen Nathan Alice's hat trick the other day. That's the greatest over I've ever yes. seen. Did uh, all right. Uh, that is the wrap of the day and the test match. Thanks to the rain, thanks to the lack of roof. Yep. Um, La- thanks for tuning in each day. Uh, the main podcast on Spotify, iTunes, etc., and right here on YouTube will be out tomorrow. Uh, and of course, we'll be back for the dailies for the second test match at Lords. At Lords, Lords. <laughs> see you then. Hey, I'll be back with my daily reviews for um, you know, every day at Lords test match as well. So, looking forward to that one. Hey. That is going to cap it off with the reaction to the TGC uh, first test day five review. Now, don't know where I'm going with that. Hey, if you guys enjoyed, subscribe, leave a like if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.